When you meditate, you have to keep the mind occupied. So keep it occupied with the breath. If you just try to make it empty and open, when it's not really ready for that level of stillness, it's like opening the door to your house. All kinds of things are going to come in. Thoughts about the future, thoughts about the past. This person did that to you. This person is going to do this to you, or things you did to other people. So to keep that stuff from coming in, try to stay focused with the breath, breath, get interest with the breath. After all, the breath energy is here to nourish your entire body. And you can ask yourself, is it doing its full job? Well, help it along. I think sometimes you're with the breath, but these other thoughts keep coming back, and that's when you have to use more than just your ability to replace them with something. You have to think about their drawbacks particularly with thoughts about what other people have done. One of the basic forms of generosity is giving your forgiveness, which doesn't mean that you have to love the person or that you necessarily want to have any more dealings with the person, but simply that you're not going to keep thinking thoughts of revenge, you're not planning revenge, you're not trying to find it. Just leave that person be. Because after all, we've been in this world many, many times over, and if you were to keep a scorecard, who knows when you could, when you would start keeping score. Now, what's the use of that scorecard? You, it's like the Buddha said, we have an arrow shot into us, and then we turn around and just shoot ourselves with a lot more arrows. All these thoughts of what this person did, what that person did, there's like more and more arrows that we shoot ourselves with. They did the things, but we're shooting ourselves. This is really appropriate. Or if somebody says something and you take it and you think it over, and that person shouldn't have said that. And it might be true they shouldn't have said that, but what does that mean? Is that what, as you reflect, that there are many types of human speech out there, and kind speech and unkind speech are just there in the human human realm. Try to depersonalize it. Things are like this all over. Which doesn't mean that you just roll over every time something happens, but it means while you're sitting here and dealing with your own mind, you don't want this sort of stuff to come cluttering it up. You want to be able to clear it away so the mind has some space of its own and it gets some perspective. So when simply working with the breath isn't enough to keep these thoughts away, start thinking about the drawbacks of thinking of those things. And the first drawback, of course, is that you're making yourself miserable. And that thinking really doesn't settle anything at all. There may be a little bit of pleasure. That comes from feeling victimized, but that's a pretty bad pleasure. There's a lot more pleasure that can come with getting the mind to be trained so it can rise above things and be able to forgive people for what they've done, forgive yourself for what you've done. That way we can live with ourselves, we can live with one another a lot more easily. If you want to go beyond just forgiveness, then there's reconciliation. Well, that means going and finding the person and, work and sorting things out. But for the time being, on your side, you can give forgiveness as much as you want. And it's interesting. Forgiveness is cheap. It doesn't cost any money, and yet sometimes it's the hardest thing to give. So do your best to uproot any thoughts of ill will towards people who have harmed you, or just the fact that you're constantly harping on people who have harmed you or whatever. There's a lot better things for the mind to be doing. <laughs>